now we discussed the definitions of alphabet, string, functions on strings and relations on strings. Let us learn definition of a language. A language is a finite or infinite set of strings over a finite alphabet summation. For example, if the summation is AB, let us see some of the languages on this alphabet AB. Empty language that is a language consisting of no strings is represented by null. Language containing only the empty string is represented by epsilon. Language consisting of two strings either A or B and the last language consists of strings including epsilon 1A, 2As, 3As, 4As, 5As that is at most 5As in this particular language. Then what is summation star? As we discussed summation star is defined as the set of all possible strings that can be formed from the alphabet summation. So, summation star is a language which contains an infinite number of strings. Then summation star is countably infinite. For example, let us consider the same alphabet AB. Then the possible strings in summation star are epsilon A, B, A, 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 B, B, A, B, B, A, A, B, A, A, A and so on. Hence, this language is countably infinite. The language is defined similar to our sector notation that is L language is equals to all possible strings W which belongs to summation star where next is a description of W. This description of W can take many forms but it must be precise and the notation can vary. There are two ways to define a language. One is the recognizer which enumerates or lists the elements of the language or the language can be a generator which decides whether a candidate string is in the language and returns true if it is in and false if it isn't.